nationals and authorities are gathering in Zimbabwe as part of the world's AIDS Day commemorations. The continent aims to get to zero new infections by 2030. And later on in the week, the country will focus on the ZANU-PF Congress, which President Mugabe will officially open this Thursday. Africa's focus is on Zimbabwe which is co-hosting the continental commemoration of the World AIDS Day with the African Union Commission. The event is running from the 30th November to the 1st of December in the resort town of Victoria Falls. And under the theme, Getting to Zero in Africa, Africa's responsibility, everyone's responsibility. About 200 delegates from the continent are meeting to discuss ways to source health financing domestically. The United Nations in Zimbabwe says the country was selected to host the high-level meeting because of its exemplary initiative of domestic financing in the fight against HIV and AIDS. In 1999, Zimbabwe set up a trust fund, also known as the AIDS levy, in response to the epidemic. The country has since halved its prevalence rate to 15%. By Tuesday, the news headlines are expected to shift to the ZANU-PF Congress. The party's Central Committee and Politburo will meet on Tuesday and Wednesday, ahead of the official opening on Thursday. This, as big names allegedly aligned to the Vice President Joyce Mujuru continue to fall. The state media reports that Transport Minister Obert Mpofu and the Speaker of Parliament Jacob Mudenda are among the latest officials to receive votes of no confidence from party officials. Shingai Nyoka, SABC News, Harare, Zimbabwe.